Oh, this is OHNL. We're back with a, another raid. This will be raid 13. <laughs> and, uh, they're taking a few chairs. But, uh, we knew that was coming. And, uh, now they're currently, uh, tagging. We have Officer Santos that's staying away. He's the perk that got himself in trouble. So we have what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven officers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, uh, DFM and and uh, park personnel. This would be Trish. It's kind of nice seeing her come back around again. <laughs> I don't know. Once you get to know people for so long. <laughs> but anyhow, as you see, they brought a big, huge crane yet again. A bunch of cars. We got a whole mess of cars way out there. And uh, then we got all this fanciness going on right here. You got dump trucks, bulldozer. <laughs> yeah. So this is like some of the freedom furniture that we were willing to sacrifice because uh, we have other stuff that we're saving. But, uh, you know. Let's see what they do with this perfectly good leather chairs. Now this is what the city does with what they say is not valuable. So they're purposely destroying, uh, yeah, it, it, they're supposed to save, save stuff of value, and I believe going to a furniture store with leather chairs would actually be of some kind of value, but uh, they're just going to throw it out. And of course, the PD here, like Santos, won't do nothing about it. No, I know, yeah, because you don't protect anybody, right? Just these personnel here, right? Yeah, they, keep your mouth shut, it's cool. <laughs> Selective enforcement. Very selective enforcement. Yeah, you can smile and laugh. That's cool. We got you on camera doing that too. You know, that's cool. Right? 
Because you're given an image of what HPD is. All right. Well, you got something to say to the camera? You can, man. It's cool. Hi, mom. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did you treating somebody with respect with your authority? This, this is what we deal with. This is what we deal with. It's cool. I told you, man. You know. <laughs> At some point, they're going to realize that all they're doing is serving the 1%. Yeah. Especially with the newest bit of information we got. Right? Yeah, they're kind of screwing themselves, so that's cool. You're sitting at home trying to make your mortgage because your pension got slashed in half by the very people that you stood up and protected. You know. Maybe you'll give a shit then. Oh man, the lighting's all jacked up here. Sorry guys. Not trying to make y'all dizzy. <laughs> you good? Good thing your ass is stinky like the guy next door. That's a good tune. Make something out of that one. <laughs> oh, they think they're so special, right? You got you got to remember here. The one percent it keeps rising and rising, and they're sticking up for the one percent as they make hourly money. <laughs> These guys are all like three, four paychecks. Well, you know, like the twelve individuals, they found out they were less than a paycheck away from having no jobs. You know, but that's cool. You know. All these people here are blind. You guys better think the pole will get tagged in. Yeah. Well, that, that's private property and it's selective. It's cool. Uh, See, if you cement your property into the ground, you can keep it. Uh, <laughs> and then they forcefully take away the paperwork that they've wasted thousands of dollars putting on there to begin with. So they can put up yet another one. Because it solves so much. Yes, I'm glad you guys are here to protect the citizens. <laughs> uh, so let's inventory through stuff. Well, I was five feet back until you invaded my space yet again, sir. Yeah, you know, you can't harass an individual, so, you know, keep up with it. So now they're looking at our free speech table. That is manned. We have a reason that's here.
How's it going? It's funny you try to be nice to some of these guys because it's not personal with them at all and they're still like, my ass is too clutch for me to talk. But we still had this sign up here. Now, we got to remember, these are sacred trees. And we can't have signs on here. We could kick the Hawaiians out and tear their signs down when they had the same permit as somebody selling plants. But that's okay. We'll ignore that, that sign that's so illegal and desecrating towards Hawaii. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you guys remember all those fun-filled lies you put with us. Thieves. Liars. <laughs> That's cool. So much more important to sell plants than to keep people in their homes. I'm sure you guys heard of San Francisco, what's going on out there, you know, the 9th District, the people in control of us. They're turning on our side. You guys know you're fighting a losing battle. You come here how many times and take almost nothing. <laughs> it's cool. We'll keep our plant sale sign because it means so much to the people that died at 9-11 for these trees, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. You turn your head, Santos, because you're the one that told it to us. Selective enforcement. I'm glad to see that they got a new crew, though. I mean, because the crew they had were a bunch of thieves. They were selling tobacco and drugs and shit. You know, it was pretty bad for the city to have. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's what they do. They don't know what the First Amendment is here. Really? I yeah. Mean, I guess that's cool, you know. They forgot all about that. <laughs> but at least we know now for sure that sleeping on the sidewalk in front of buildings of right-of-ways is now a legal form of freedom of speech. Thanks to good old San Francisco, which controls this district. Tells you guys where to go. <laughs> so we don't need just your uh, little badges with the symbol because the federal government's on our side now. Another week or two, we'll find out for sure by a federal judge that this is illegal search or seizure. That means every time you guys done this, you owe me! Well, they brought they brought the bulldozer and the oversized crap there. Well, they they took what like six chairs? No, when it yeah, yeah, like five or six chairs, a, a stupid little 
table, and they thought they did, did their jobs well. You guys did a great job. Thank you for helping our environment with all your machinery to haul off a few chairs. Thank you for protecting the citizens of their First Amendment right by taking a few chairs. You're doing everybody so much good here. We'll still be here because you guys. It's all because of you. <laughs> I want to thank you for that. To keep our reason alive. To keep Honolulu aware of the injustice of the HPD, DFM, and the Parks Department. By courtesy of the Corporate Council. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's a beautiful day. <laughs> well, let's see what they're gonna do if the house was down here, come on. Drive it well, sir! Make use of it! That CDL does you good, good, doesn't it? Feed your family, because you took four chairs. <laughs> Oh, hell. <laughs> you got something to say about all this? This is the camera, just so you know. You got something to say about all this? Fuck that. Yeah. Well, what, what's, what do you feel that they're doing wrong? Yeah, just obeying the American right to have a peaceful demonstration with what you're doing. And that did not make it right. Right. Well, what about uh, how they're mistreating uh, some of the houseless here? I mean, people that need uh, help. Uh, do you feel that they're helping uh, some of the people, the houseless in this area? They're hindering. Yeah. They're hindering with what they're doing. And I don't like that shit because if you're going to help, help. But these people don't know how to do that. They get something wrong. Right. This is a third world country. I don't know. I mean, I've been in life 44 years. I'm not going to say different. I love the people and all this shit like this. Shit. But I don't like the fucking cops that complain fucking dirty assholes that are brutalizing people for no fucking reason. That's right. That's right. I, I understand fully. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I, I don't. I don't see the harm in sleeping. I don't see the harm of hanging out in a public park. You know. I mean, if if they want to help people, they should uh, offer services and do do people some justice. Okay. Then you tell me this. Why don't they do that? Too much money. They 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 believe that they should save the money and run the houseless or Hawaiians or people of protest, they should just run them off the island. They want to create uh, an island of rich and fancy people. This is part of America. It's of well, America since 1959. well, they say it's part of America, but at the same time, you got to realize that it was illegally taken over, but in, in, in respect, either way, if they want to treat it as America, this isn't how America is treated. If they want to treat it as Hawaii, that this definitely doesn't go by the guidelines of the Hawaiians. They're just doing whatever they want here. You know, they they just make their own laws and rules. So they keep screwing up. Right. Yeah. This is in, this is injustice. I mean, they 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 walked away with they they walked away with four chairs. Do you think they constituted a bulldozer and two big huge dump trucks in the crane? <laughs> what the fuck is crane going to do? Right. Right. Well, you know, because those tents weigh so much, right? <laughs> Take my back, huh? <laughs> good talking to you, Captain. You have a good one. <laughs> well, they're still trying to clean up their own mess of uh, showing up here. We got the crane left. They didn't really make use of anything. They didn't even try to put anything in the buckets. They just threw it out. <laughs> But at least we know we didn't t they didn't take off with really anything. They took off with less than what we thought they were going to take off with. <laughs> you know, they they haven't figured out that we allow things to be sacrificed just because. Well, we don't, you know, have 
room to deal with it. I mean, it, we shouldn't have to go through all that. Shouldn't have to keep replenishing. But, you know, somebody's got to clean up the streets here. I mean, when they leave garbage sitting on the street for a month, you know, throughout all the residential areas, and you got cockroaches and, and rats running all over the town because they can't clean up their citizens' garbage, well, come here, drop the stuff off, Freedom Furniture, whatever you want to call it, and uh, a couple days later, they'll come clean up the mess for the city. And uh, if that's what we could do to help the city out, we'll go for it, whatever, it's cool. <laughs> so what do you think on your first uh, official raid? Yeah, what a fucking joke. <laughs> like, like, this is what Honolulu chooses to spend their city resources on. A fucking bulldozer. <laughs> so you can haul out a couple chairs. It's ridiculous. And the fucking cops standing there laughing about it like, like this is some cool thing, you know? In a few years when their pensions are slashed and they're sitting around trying to make their fucking mortgage payment, Maybe then it'll hit them that they're a bunch of tools. But it's all fun and games right now until they get hit. So fuck them. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, we saved most of the info table. Uh, there was just a couple of decorations that we had on the side that they took. Uh, the sign stayed. Uh, most of the chairs stayed. They had a problem with like four or five of them in our little table. Um, that kind of sucked. What can you do? It's cool. It's not like we can't find more. Uh, everything else is here, though. As you can see, our encampment is still staying. So, all right. I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, OHNL is out.